Hi everyone, my name is Sandy. I'm a Canva Certified Creative from the Philippines. And on this tutorial, I'll be teaching you on how you can use the new line element feature of Canva to create cool and visually appealing outcomes. So let's go jump into Canva and get this started. All right, so for someone who's been into Canva business for quite some time now, one of my frequently used elements is the lines. It had helped me create basic crafts, tables, even planners like this one, and down to the most detailed and intricate business forms like this one. And for someone who uses lines most of the time, I was so happy when Canva rolled out the new line element feature, which helps me to create lines easier with help of added properties like weight, style and mix and match of the endpoints and now let me show you what i'm talking about so let me just go back to my blank page right here on page one and when you go to elements go to lines and just click on the first line right here and this tools right here will become available so i have a line right here let's just say i wanted to make this really thin and so you just click on that line and go to your weight tool right here and change the weight to probably two or you can go all the way to one and there you have it that's so thin also you can go back to it and change the style so we have dotted and we have straight lines right here so i wanted to use this one and then let's say you wanted to add a starting point and end point so right here on the left side i wanted it to start with a dot so i'm gonna use this and then for this one right here on the right side i wanted to use an arrow right let me just adjust the weight so you guys can see it clearly all right there you have it and it's also now easier to create angled lines and you can see the angles that you are currently working with so for example i'm now at negative 13 degrees if you wanted it to become really strict you can put it back to zero there you go all right so those are the newly added properties for the line elements now let's talk about how you can use this into your project so i'm gonna show you different ways and how you can create lines and use it for your project so i'm gonna start over right here i'm gonna take this off and this one too i'm gonna take that off okay so i have here just a regular line so let's just say i wanted to create something like this a multiple line page so i'll just adjust this one make it thinner all right now create a copy of this and once you've created like three to four lines you can go ahead and select all of them click on position and tidy up to make sure they are properly aligned and there you have it then you can create a copy of this four lines and continue adding it to make your page full of lines and it's also a time saver so again go back to position and tidy it up to make sure they are properly aligned so this is how you create multiple lines now what i wanted to do is simple like a progress bar so let me just delete all of them first and just use one line right here okay let me just wait to probably three so you can properly see it okay so this one right here i wanted it to have a round end point there you go and then i could probably add another line right here make it a little bit longer if this progress is a bit longer or you can just create a copy of this and add it like that then you could probably add level one put it right here then add another text to label this second progress right here and so on okay so now i'll be showing you how you can create a horizontal graph so let's say you wanted to show a pretty visual of your report so you can go ahead and use a combination of lines and shapes so pull up a line right here then another one so I have a 90 degrees line right here now. 
then you can bring them down and I'll just copy this to make it quicker <laughs> so you can really customize this according to your needs this is just an example I'm showing so probably you can now add a rectangle so I press R on my keyboard to quickly pull up a rectangle then I'm gonna put it here and you can copy this one all right so this is just an example I'm just showing you the possibilities of how you can use lines to create visually appealing graphs. Now you can again use shapes to create something like this. And then now since it's easier for us to create a very thin line, then it is also now possible to create an intricate and detailed business forms like this. All right. Well, um, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Well, that's it, my friends. I hope you'd like the tutorial. And if you'd like to see more of my Canva tutorial and recent projects, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, which is at Sandy Solutions. Or you can also check my website, which is sandysolutions.com. Well, that's it for now. Bye.